Hello, and welcome to Five for Friday for this Friday, July 14th, 2023. Congratulations to you for investing your valuable time to keep up with these news stories that could impact your small business. Way to be future focused. All right, are you ready to get started with this week's topics? Let's get going. We'll start with topic number one. You don't need this video to tell you that it's hot out there this summer. Yep, we have been breaking records left and right including the Earth's hottest day in 125,000 years. This is estimated to create a billion dollars in healthcare-related costs in the United States alone, and it's also driving innovations in new forms of personal cooling and new technology for air conditioning that's more efficient and more carbon-friendly. As a small business owner, you can't control the weather, but you can control how you react to it, and that's where you look for the opportunity. That's the case not just with hot summer weather, but really all the time. All right, moving on to story number two, bad news banks. Bank of America is in trouble for following Wells Fargo's lead by opening accounts without customer permission and charging junk fees, among others, and they'll have to pay $250 million. You'd think that stories like that would drive people to want to stick to local banks. But apparently the recent interest rate changes are prompting more people to move to larger banks that are better able to offer interest on checking which drives the smaller banks to become less profitable and more likely to be taken over by the big banks. There's a lot more detail in the newsletter, but here's the part that really matters to you. Research shows that community banks are the top resource for funding for entrepreneurs, especially for minorities. They know you and they're willing to take a risk on you and help you support the community. You're just a number to the big banks. If we continue down this path of consolidation and let the giant unethical banks take over the community-run banks, it's the small businesses who will suffer the most. This is a signal of change that truly has me worried. And with that, let's move on to story number three, space. In a similar vein, the market for rocket launches, launchers sending satellites up to space is currently a de facto monopoly with SpaceX dominating. Sure, Virgin Galactic is still hanging in there, trying to focus on space tourism, but Musk's reusable rockets have the commercial and space exploration markets covered. Meanwhile, NASA is working on adding chat GPT-like features to an upcoming space station to allow astronauts to communicate with the station. I can't see anything wrong going wrong there. What do you think, Dave? All right, moving on to story number four, privacy is gone. A plethora of stories recently on all the data we are willingly and sometimes not willingly giving up so that the big tech giants can sell us to the highest bidder. Oh, and don't forget the government, which is collecting even more data than ever on our every move with or without court authorization. At least the state of Massachusetts is trying to make your cellular location more private, even if the federal government won't. So that's a start. Meanwhile, in the UK, retailers are using facial recognition software to track past shoplifters as they enter stores, with the goal of preventing further shoplifting while also tracking your every move. And the UK's National Health Service is starting to realize that it's sitting on a gold mine of health data that could be used for medical research, if they can figure out how to monetize it without sacrificing patient privacy. Speaking of privacy, OpenAI, the parent company to ChatGPT, is in trouble for stealing massive amounts of private data in order to train ChatGPT. This includes not only all of your social media content, but also private online conversations, medical data, and information from children, all in the interests of making our lives better by chatbot, so it's worth it, right? Right? Who else is collecting your data stealthily? Well, Elon Musk's Tesla is generously offering to share its charging stations with other EV manufacturers in exchange for all the data it collects about your driving habits while you plug in to recharge. And CVS, along with most of the pharmacies that offer online services, have been shown to share your data with social media platforms. So businesses who pay Facebook to advertise can focus on people who search for HIV tests or pregnancy tests they can find your vaccination status, even your prescription medications. That's not worrisome, is it? The more data about us that is stored online, the more that businesses will take advantage of it. What is your privacy policy for the customers you support? And how do you help protect their privacy and yours? Something worth considering. 
All right, let's move on to our final story, story number five, the Zuckerberg-Musk cage match, which has morphed into an online battle with the introduction of Meta's new Threads, which is clearly being positioned to be an alternative to Twitter. It's growing rapidly in downloads thanks to its connection to Instagram that makes it super easy to add the new platform. Musk is suing Meta, alleging that they stole employees away to obtain trade secrets about Twitter. Meta says, nope. And the battle continues. A bit boring in the newsletter, but the message here is that the big battle of the tech bros is just a way to cover up the fact that they're all hoovering up all our private data just left and right to their benefit, as we discussed in story number four. I do predict some major disruption in the world of social media and online marketing in the next few years. So ignore the cage match, but pay attention to privacy settings and how and where small businesses will actually be able to become visible online to their target customers. It's only going to get harder and more expensive, I'm afraid to say. Okay, and today, not one, not two, but three bonus stories with more detail in the newsletter. Because who can't resist a good or strange news story? I can't. Bonus story number one. Did you know that you can get an AI chatbot of your own to mess with telemarketers and keep them on the phone for long periods of time? The funniest part of this to me is that your AI bot might be doing this with their AI bot, a battle of the talking bots. What a world we live in. Bonus story number two. If you haven't been to Vegas lately, it's time to make a trip out there to see the latest concert venue, the MSG Sphere. It is ginormous, and when it's all lit up on the outside, it looks just like the planet Earth. I can't wait to see what will come next to top that in Vegas. And finally, bonus story number three. Here's the headline. Professor who studies honesty accused of falsifying data in honesty studies. Can't make this stuff up. And with that, thanks for joining me for this week's Five for Friday. If you want to get all the links, all the resources, and my full take on all these topics, then be sure to check out my subscription newsletter that gives you everything in the video and more. You can sign up on my website at Learn, Start, Grow. Um, and as always, I hope you'll sign up to receive these videos directly from me or subscribe on YouTube so you can continue to hear about these signals of change that in could impact your small business. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend.